more of a comment than a question. But I've been really struck from reading Facing Mount Kanchen Shiva mm. and some of the things that you said on the video that we saw yesterday, mm. that you had like no sort of examples or role models of Sangha, yet mm. the FWO mm. has a very, very strong Sangha. Mm. Mm. I'm, just, I'm just struck by how that mm. developed and where your vision from that came from. I don't really know because <laughs> it's not that I, I, you know, came back to England with that sort of idea in my mind. It seems to have uh, been something that evolved gradually in response to people's needs. Mm. Mm. I suppose I, I, I just happened to see that well, people were famished, mm. you know, for spiritual friendship. Mm. Perhaps I can give an analogous uh, sort of example. Um, one of the things that we do stress in, in the movement is the importance of being on good terms with one's parents. Hmm? And uh, I started stressing this not because I'd seen anything about this in a Buddhist text, though there are teachings on this subject in Buddhist texts, but because I saw that quite a few people in the movement and coming along were hung up on their relations with their parents, that they had bad relations with their parents and the fact that they had bad relations with their parents was uh, really coming in the, way, in the way of their psychological and spiritual development. So therefore I started seeing the need to straighten out one's relationship with one's parents. And I encouraged people to do this and to keep up friendly contact with their parents, not to walk out on them because you know, they take into Buddhism and perhaps their parents weren't happy about it, but to be patient and mm -hmm. you try to keep in, in good contact and clear up any misunderstandings from the past. There were several people coming along in the early days and perhaps even now who have said that they hated their parents. Well, I, I, uh, so I, I don't think it's possible for you to develop properly, you know, in an all round sort of way if you have feelings of hatred towards your parents. It means that something has gone seriously wrong in the course of your ordinary human development. Mm -hmm. So I have always encouraged people, you know, to, to work on this, not to break off contact. Though they, they may some in some cases need to or just keep at a distance for a while. Huh? But with a view eventually of reestablishing contact. So it's not, as I said, that I came <coughs> back with this idea, but it was a response, my emphasis on this was a response to what I saw as the actual situation and people's needs. So I, I think it was much the same with this emphasis on spiritual friendship. And of course, in the Buddhist text, one can find teachings which em emphasize the importance of spiritual friendship. Mm -hmm. They're teachings which have been largely neglected by the rest of the Buddhist world.